Your mission here is what, you think? Use technology to help humanity. So develop software tools for people with disabilities, human rights groups, and environmental groups. Is there money in that? I mean, this is, this is the, 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 the birthplace of making millionaires in Silicon Valley. For us, if we could just break even doing what we're doing, we've been very successful. So the goal is to not make money, but make sure that we're using technology to help people. How do you measure success? I measure success on how many people we've helped with our technology. In other words, the social impact. Blind people reading, human rights groups being able to convict the bad guys, environmental groups being able to manage a better project. That's our goal, is to make sure technology really serves the bigger social issues rather than just making a buck. And you're expanding, you said, right? Yeah, well, we used to do one thing. We used to make reading machines for the blind, and now we're up to six different projects, helping blind people still. That's still one of our core areas of, of effort, but also helping people with developmental disabilities, helping human rights groups, both large and small, mm -hmm. environmental groups. And we've even just started a project to do a humanitarian landmine detector to help people who are moving landmines be more effective. Now, your work uh, with the blind, what's that called, and, and what are you doing there? Our help with the blind is all around book access and newspaper access. How can, for work, for uh, education, for personal interest, can a blind person have just the same access to books and newspapers that sighted people have? And so we started that by making reading machines where blind people could scan the books. And now our latest project is Bookshare.org, which is a place on the internet where blind people can share the books that they've scanned with each other, and therefore you don't have to keep scanning the same book over and over again. And what's the um, we were talking to one of your colleagues mm -hmm. about what's so important about that work. From your view, what's so significant about, about that work, and, and what does that open up for, for the blind? Well, I think disabled people don't have a very even shot at life. And so, as a toolmaker, I want to give them the kind of tools that offset the disadvantages that, that a disability like blindness have. And one of the biggest ones has to do with accessing information. If you can't get access to the books that you need to read to get through school, you're not going to do as well in school. If you can't read the books you need to get your promotion at work, you're not going to get that promotion. And so we can kind of put our finger on the balance and just help blind people help themselves by providing the technology that makes it possible for them to do those things just like everybody else. Opens the door for them. Absolutely. Uh, now, you said tool maker. Now, there's another word I hear used about you these days, genius. How do you like that one? <laughs> yeah, my wife just rolled her eyes when she heard that one. <laughs> as, as it relates to Bookshare, what's mm -hmm. been the most rewarding for you? Oh, I mean, we get these great emails from our users, you know. All my life I've wanted to be able to read books, and now I can, you know. I can go to Bookshare and browse the shelves and download a book and, and read a page and then decide not to read it, <laughs> you know. And it's like... Oh, okay. I, I get why that would be cool, you know. Or, you know, I can be reading the newspaper on the train, you know, the subway in the morning, just like the person sitting next to me who has a print copy of the New York Times or whatever it might be. So it's that sort of, you know, I can do these things that makes me feel good that we've created a way that they can do those things without needing help, sure. right? Instead, ah, here's a tool. Go out and do it yourself. Right. Be part of the mainstream. Yeah. And so we want to do that with all the kind of clients that we're dealing with because we're trying to solve the problems for the 90% of the world that Silicon Valley is not focused on. And that's plenty of opportunity. Now, I've counted. You've used the word geek 17 times since I, I met you. Oh, yeah. You used it like it's a badge of honor. It is a badge of honor to be a geek. I mean, you know, geeks love technology for its own sake, and we like to solve problems. And that's the way I got started. I didn't start out wanting to become a Silicon Valley entrepreneur. I wanted to figure things out and, and make things work.